Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the beat-up plan as we return to a Crimson Chateau Estate within the darkest dungeon. I am going to leave that one behind, though it's good to know that we can camp over here. But first, I would like some extra food if I want to go that route. Um, yeah, definitely. Oh, do we need to hit though? Because that moves him forward means that he is out of the, the area of... Ah, that's really unfortunate. In fact, now he's in the fourth position. They... That's a thing of enemies that you as a player don't have. They have way more... Um, oh, he had two hit HP left. Oh, he's going to die anyways. And he does it on a guy I don't really, really mind. Though I think I prefer him to survive. Um, it's a little early to stress you. Let's do this. The disadvantage here is that... Oh, uh, wow. Ow. Uh, you're almost dead. And again, almost is not good enough. And thus, we have this issue. Should have actually probably gone for a hit on him. He can bombing run from all the way back? Oh no! The amount of damage coming in. Well struck. Okay. We need a bit of a recovery phase because we really would like that to, our Vestal to die. We don't want anyone to die for that matter, but fine, you will get the blood. All of a sudden we have four vampires and we have more than enough of an economy. Take a stunning blow because I don't want another bombing run. Oh my dear lord, um, the hit point loss is severe. But this is what we wanted. Um, no. First the Vestal, because if we lose our standard healer, it's worse than if we lose our Houndmaster. Though both would be horrible. Exposed to a killing blow. A little bit unfortunate, but nothing one cry havoc cannot take care of. I have a 40% chance. I do need to hit though to have that 40% chance. I'm glad he does that. Because that's what exactly what I wanted to do. But there was no guarantee on that. 25% chance, of course. That's probably the least problematic thing he could have done, so... Time to start killing. Resist the bleed. Rare, rare, and another time. Once again, rare. Oh, there we go. Bop. Pull the trigger. Um. One stress is nothing. Just need to make sure that we don't uh, get into trouble. Um, gonna do a focus deal here. Here, because he... You'd be surprised at how many hit points he was missing. There we go. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. If only this wouldn't move every freaking time. There is the boss.
Well, that makes it... We're going to pick up that camp. We're going to pick up that camp. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Like this. And then we'll go back. And then we'll go up. And then we can apply that protection buff during this fight. And that's why I so much like to do this. This is not a terrible difficult fight. Him is, of course, as always, the major issue. Can't stun the fourth position, so I have to try and do that. And they can't give me disease because I have the Crimson Curse, which prevents me from getting any other disease. Because that would be way too horrible if you could get all of that. Oh, no. Stun as well. Yes, of course. Why do I even ask? Um, one HP off. Really? No, 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 don't do it. I need the Vestal. Take away her problems. Mark yourself, please. I can't cookie it up. The boss is coming up. That would be a bad idea. And besides, this isn't a tough fight, but I just focused the Vestal a little too much. Please, not the Vestal. Thank you. That's all I asked for. Not the Vestal. And there is the Hume. on him because these two we can handle it's him that he is the only problem in this this enemy composition yeah try and munch on the crusader he's not dead yet not dead yet. But he is with us, crit. Goodbye. And thank you for coming. Oh, he doesn't want to have it taken away from him. Alright. These two, mark him. Just hit once. So then we can get you low enough for the uh, eventual trigger of ending this fight. Oh. Grievous injury. Alright. Palpable fear. Didn't realize just how much the flagon still was taking, but there you go. As you see, the disease is constantly resistant, and that despite that we're having 30%. Really, that's not just luck, that's because of having the Crimson Curse. I'm going to actually do this. And we're gonna pull the trigger. Game won't complain, I have a deadly bleed on him. And hopefully the Vestal can go for a heal. Wish I had a... 
an anti venom here, but I don't. We do have an, a bandage, but we don't. You cannot use that. <laughs> or is it merely a trick of the light? There we go. We didn't find any additional portrait, also. Noticed that. Alright. Normal together. food. Furtive Not additional. Vulnerable. Rats in a maze. It's not for the stress that I do it. I do it in order to get the protections up. Um, I do want the scouting chest because we might continue after this. Um, any other buff? Yes, accuracy and dodge. On well, the Houndmaster order. See, I think I'm gonna go with there for the Houndmaster. And hopefully, my theory is correct. Oh, no, not remove the I thought it might remove blind, but I was wrong. You can be ambushed. I thought you couldn't. Oh, no. Well, at least the buffs will last to after this fight as well, so... Let's just take care of them. How is it dark all of a sudden in here? Because it can't get dark, but never mind. The dodges are real. Nice, bubbling. but not strong enough. And I do really want to get out of this fight fully healthy and f and uh, stress free, because otherwise, you please don't move backwards. Thank you. No, that's too much bleeding. Um. That's actually not that bad if you moved. I need to heal you. Thank you. All right, that is one. And by that I mean we have now one of uh, we have a little bit of um, a man advantage. Ah, darn it! I really thought you couldn't get ambushed. That I read that somewhere. Apparently, I either was trolled or I read wrong or what have you not. Definitely wrong. All right. Focus on the Vestal, yes, please, more, no, actually, please don't. Oh, not again, oh my dear lord, that does so much damage. I have a bleed of nine. Please, I don't want any mortality debuffs. Please don't, please, please don't, please don't! No! But no! The very precipice of a Arrgh! That is accuracy, for instance. That's not the one you need a crit! On the contrary, that's absolutely the one you shouldn't crit! Oh, that we get this ambush is really, really poor. It's my mistake, I thought you just couldn't get ambushed in this place. All right, I, sh I don't have the take over this. We are really low. Okay, we can recover from this, but that that debuff is annoying because it is accuracy and it's also damage. That debuff is just unfortunate, but, but we have had debuffs more often in, in places like this, but yeesh. All right. I am going to group heal because there are too many people that are too low. Please don't. Phew. Give me a chance here. Nice crit. Perhaps a stunning blow would be... Yeah, if it hits, it would be awesome. There we go.
That's okay. And probably the Crusader is now going to try and control the fight as much as he can. Instead of stress relieving, I will leave that completely over to the Houndmaster and will try with him to just stunning blow them and, and have less enemy damage coming in so that we can recover. That is probably the best move I can make, at least so I feel. You might have a different opinion and it might be valid. Um... Well, that's at least gone. Also noticeable, it stays dark, despite the fact... I shouldn't have done that, because now the bleed might be too big. Yeah, he needs to first, otherwise he's dead. Alright. And then he still needs it one more time. But it's not his worst ability for us to use, to use against us, so that's good. But I do need to heal way more than I currently have. Um, I think we're gonna dodge buff. That's probably a lot better. Inspiration and improvement. Trying to hopefully the flagellant to get another heal off. He doesn't. He doesn't heal himself. Okay, so he's dead. Meaning that this is one of our last. Round, so let me just figure out how to handle everything. Pointless to take extra damage. Then I'd rather have the Crusader at full health. The wounds of war One stress is not important enough, and the flagon starting a little lower Never isn't too, too bad. Alright. If I could go here, thank you. Now hopefully we can find just a wee little bit of food up here. Yes, thank you. That's exactly what we wanted to see. So. There is the food that we needed. Uh, that means on the way back... We can make use of it. He's full now anyway, so he won't take any more. So. Um. Because I have no idea what he can do. So, let's get those resistances up, and let's move in. The glutton's taste for morbidity is made more pronounced by his mutation. Four actions? Holy shit, dude! Blood stuff, body, body, immensinated body. These people, this are this is dead, right? Dang, he doesn't have that much hit points, though. Can you stun him? He's actually very stunnable. You only have dodge bonus, so we don't need the Houndmaster target missile. Ow. Alright. A little bit of a... Oh, possible bleed. Alright. Hungry eyes. Repost! Well, that's annoying for sure. Uh, but he's at half his hit points. A uh, little bit more. Ow. Ow, that one was bad. I was considering it, but he has reposed on like Wow, he's gonna take really cause a lot of stress here. 
Accuracy for 60. No. Ow. I, I didn't even realize that the bleed of the... Of the flagellant didn't take. I didn't give him blood. Ravenous feet. What? What? Heal for 50? Okay. Apparently we need to take care of the bodies and uh, handle the rest of the fight. Jeez, that's annoying. Um, 50% damage. I need to heal from first the Vestal. I can't just stun him again. You. 50. No. I want to try it again. He resists to bleed so many times. That's really annoying. Ow, that's a crit. Okay, so not every meal he does heals him. Oh, if only I could get a nice big crit in. Ooh, nice. Also, awesome animation. Uh, now I have to try this. A powerful blow. Yeah, that's a crit, but that's not a crit on the person that I wanted to crit with, but... Come on! That's a strong bleed. There's a strong bleed. There's another bleed. Crusader, please don't heat. 25 only, no. Crit? No. Oh, he's close. He's close. But he has another one. No, that's targeting me. Okay, served rare. That's the first time that hits. Oh, my heart is pounding. No, a ravenous feast. We were so close. Speed and damage. Please just hit him. Kill him. Land the bleed for crying out loud. He's so weak, but he's not weak enough. I need a... I need a... Oh, I would like a crit, please! Uh-oh, the Vestal's getting really low now. But I have to try! There's a bleed that hits. Please don't eat. Please allow my no, Houndmaster to go. Yes! <laughs> All right, we'll take the blueprint. I should have uh, taken this a lot more. This is for the Jester. Debuff skill chance, speed in position one, ten dodge in position one. That's nice if you want to go finale, but then it says minus fifteen percent max HP. I'll probably never wear this. That is. Death for the Jester if you do that. Continue adventuring. We have beaten the boss. Ah, another way to get in. All right. We could have gone both ways. Okay. But, uh, for now, I would like to get a little bit more reward out of it, so I want to do this whole way. Um... Oh man, I I had that all all along. I didn't take that with me, so I didn't realize I had that. That's kind of dumb. That's really dumb, I should say. Um, if only we could get a camp going. We don't have a red key, so we won't be able to go through there. Uh, there was stress relief over here, but it's mainly about food right now. All right, let's just return the way we came. And let's get a ton of food. A fortune waiting to be spent. 
You're full, right? Yeah, that's that's the There we go. Okay. Phew. Let's get rich out of this dungeon. We actually beat him with the free corpses up. I and that also triggered I don't know if it triggered because the free corpses were still up. Uh, uh and um an achievement, but I said I don't know if that is because I did that. Do we want to go this way and then back? Because I'm a little scared of the battle. This is stress, but stress is not her problem. Her hit points is. And we know there is no way to camp down this road. So you know what? You know what? No. We know this room is empty. We can only hope that this curio is one that can gives us gives us a camp. It's not. But it is something that can give us a reward. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Um this way. Everybody else had their full meal, so take it like that. Continue on. And let's... That's the wrong one. I wanted to hit her. Oh, dang, nabbit. Now we caused a lot of sl stress on the flagellant where it wasn't needed. Oh, okay, let this please be an easy fight. Uh, not really, but the fact that they're stunned is really good. Okay, so... He can do bombing run. I think it's the last two that we want to take out. You definitely heal yourself. Awesome possum. That is one. And then do this. Hopefully you will be the target of most attacks. Enraging slight. It's annoying because of the major amount of stress that he already has, but we'll have to take care of it. Get it a blood, that's fine. That's okay that it happened on him. That is good. That is good. That is good. Um, definitely you. Definitely stun. Because I really don't want him to go. Alright, in case he protects, we'll do this. That's not exactly what I was hoping for. We kind of need to stun him, but I'm first going to take care of the fact that this guy doesn't go rapturous. Passive, all right. Take this away. If he becomes rapturous, he becomes rapturous. All right. Removes this protection. Mm. The Vestal is annoying. Oh, the double resist of the, the stun. That is the bonus there. That is definitely the bonus. Alright, okie dokie. Um... You are really, really, really slow. I am really, really, really low. I'm gonna heal myself. Not taking any chances there. You can stress him out. That's fine. We're That's less fine. Luckily, we can still target him with our flagellant. The bleed hit. He is dead, right, isn't he? He is exactly dead. That's awesome. There we go. And these are the two guys. No bombing runs. Uh... No double whammies. We, I think, are going to take this fight to the max and get ourselves fully healed. And then we're going to walk out of here by finding some goodies and have a very, very good dungeon run. That means that this episode probably will be a little bit longer, but... Uh, you know, I think I'm uh, perhaps woody of that after defeating the boss without having to take down those corpses. 
because I think that's probably normally the, the strategy you want to take, considering that he heals 50 of one of them. The, the other one heals 25, and then the other and then got a buff, and the other one cured him of, of things, I believe. I would have to take note of it again to make sure, but there we go. Yeah, we're starting to uh, recover all our problems. That's a little annoying, I have to admit, but... Oh, that's really annoying, to be honest. But, but, she is not the last one to go. So, and the Houndmaster is fine in position four. I will go like this. That's absolutely fine. That is awesome. And you can go back a little bit. Alrighty. And now it depends on how well the Cry Havocs go, how well we are capable of, or I'm about to say, how fast we are capable of restoring ourselves. It's kind of interesting that he's craving because we don't have vampires anymore, supposedly, after this dungeon because, well, we beat up the boss and that means that we uh, cleared it out, don't we? So, I'm A-OK -okay with this. Raging Sight. It's still so nice to see that Enraging Slide here does 13 stress damage, but he, like the the Satyr's stress seal, is larger than that, so... Going forward, absolutely fine. Because that... Actually, that does 12, sorry. It's with a crit that it does more. Okay, so it's not entirely true, but... He doesn't always choose that ability. That's A. Oh, no stunny. Too bad. Also interesting that he hasn't chosen to do the first. In like forever. And look at our stress team. Okay, that's the first time he actually gives out stress, but... These two are really nice. It would have been better even probably if it were two of these. I think because if he goes into uh, first mode, it becomes a little worse, I believe. So you have a protection now of 120%, which means it will just do a little damage. Oh, uh, there you go. Now you also have stress attacks. Actually, it does remove, of course, the slide. So, uh, enraging slide, so I'm not sure if it's... I'm not sure what I find a worse form for them. But at least it's not a bombing run with a double bleed in the back. Well, that is good. Um, he's not... they're not fast. Of course, he's not really stunnable, but... Compassion uh, that wasn't world. really needed, but... Fever I guess. He doesn't want to take it? Alright. That's alright. And for all that is good, this team has done it again. Arthur, Valak, Bloody Mary, and Raf. This team simply destroys the courtyard. There we go. Nice little stun. I'm not gonna do anything until all the stress is gone, don't, don't you? So if you want to get a glass of milk, you want to get some cookies, some fruit, some veggies, go do it! Because I'll be here, just making sure that we all stress-free! We are really close to that. Uh, except that now the Vestal gives us a little bit more <laughs> stress again, but... Well, we can't have everything, right? Why not try and stun again? After all, we have that trinket. Eh, resistance. He resists it. He resists it. Sorry. Need to pronounce things properly. Oh, nice. Oh, less nice. Not because of the bleed, but simply because of the stress that it adds. 
we were so close in rounding this up, but unfortunately, no dice. She feels alive again. Heals that, which I'm fine with. Choice cut, it's another bleed. It's okay. Take away this bleed because you definitely can handle that better. Look at that stress reduction. We came in this fight with a Vestal that was uh, very precariously regarding health. Where I by accident gave Valak a, a little bit of the blood where he didn't need it and thus he stressed out over that. Okay, drink, boy, drink! I'm just sputting it down his throat. And he was, uh, yeah, he, he didn't like that. Whoa! Alright. I thought I was going to end game a little bit, but... Well, not really end game, but just end this fight. Um, well, you need it first or you're dead. Vesta will simply heal herself uh, if I'm allowed to choose the first. All right. Fortunately, that was a crit. All right. You are dead. Will do one of your last abilities. That's fine. And that's actually a man that doesn't mind at all getting a wee little bit of damage. We heal a little bit up, but there's more because all of the rest is safe. Um. I can finish that off, but I will top him off a little bit because he's not fast enough, I think, before we go. Oh, actually, of course, he's the last. Never you mind, I was dumb. Oh, but that's a dodge. So we don't mind, and you are dead. So, although Valak, of course, will take another blow here, it won't be... There we go. One stress. And Valak, you get the honors. There you go. Um... Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I'm not really overconfident. I'm just simply sure of myself. Little smuck uh, thing on my uh, face there. I'll take this with me. I don't think we'll need this anymore. We don't need food. We have enough food. We're gonna go continue on our merry way. The blood, the blood. I must have the blood. Sorry, but mm, dude, I have the blood. I will give it to you. Alright, gives us a little bit more space even. But once we have done these two corridors, I will end it, because there's no reason for us to stay any longer than that. Um, I'm actually gonna take care of the little dude for- Oh, no bleed! Ooh, I also didn't change the order! You missed! Rent. Not a problem. In fact, that is a really good rent target. In that case, just take him out. One versus four. I know you're big, dude, but haven't you heard? Oh, sorry. It was because of all the double clicks. That, uh... What is it again? Um, extraordinary size is no intrinsic has no intrinsic merit, unless extraordinary exanguination be considered a virtue. Stun! Thank you. Hey, you thought you could hurt me, right? Yeah, take a bleed. A big one. As we heal. Also, we have a Crusader who does tons of damage to you. Because that's his gig. That's actually kind of little. That, that is the blow that does more 25%, 35% extra damage. That was just a below average hit. Had to be. And you are dead. Please don't do anything horrible then for your last round. Uh, uh, 
Because you are dead. Now I can't heal this. <laughs> heal that. He is slow, though. Yeah, that's that's gonna be it. Um, the there we go. Oh, nice heal, even. Healed. Nice. Never there we go. Vestal fully healthy, the and he dies from bleeding. The greater the glory. And we'll definitely take some more stuff with us. Thank you very much. Um, I have the feeling we need these in order to interact with Curio, so I'm a little like I don't really wanna take those with me. I could do it instead of the gold. Yeah, I will do that instead of the gold. That that's, that seems like a good idea. Oh, I should have thrown away the uh, bloody Admiral. You know what? Because I've never done it, I believe, and people have never seen it. There you go. Let me give it to you. This is what we get out of it. Actually, this time it's not that bad. Alright. I'll take this one and this one. I don't want to use it over the food, because I really fear uh, food activation. I want this corridor. So these two... Two, then? Or this? Assuming that I will get more than eight crests. Oh, this is a risk. This is a risk. This isn't that good, so I'm not bringing that along with me. Um... But that was a very good outcome. I've only seen them given like these these two type of weak trinkets, but I guess perhaps because this is a champion dungeon it goes better. I don't know. Uh, I'll I'll do it like this. And I might sell these because I do actually believe I have both of them. Oh, there was a food activation. Glad I did not throw away the food this time. Then again, you could tell you, you there was an argument to make I still didn't change his order. Uh, an argument to make to actually do that because this team can heal and uh, stress heal for days anyway so it's not really necessary the food because the vessel will just heal it all up nice he does it for the other guy so that we can kill this dude before he even acts you will bleed to death sir ow that 20 hit is a little annoying now But as always, we want to kill him. Um, because these two... Well, we can definitely recover with these two, so... Nice dodge. So, we're just gonna give them a little bit of a relief, actually, in the sense. Oh! That'd be really bad. You can't even do anything in position one. Please. No, he will decide for himself. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Except that I did kind of want to stun. But, alright. Your strongest abilities are up. We'll use it in this case for a heal. Um. Good. I will take that repose damage. Not a dodge. Doing well. Uh oh. Ow. It's not too bad for him, but... That is really good. That's another guy. Uh, I don't like the... That the repose is up again, but we'll just have to take it out. Um, oh, nice. I didn't want to heal him, because... Well, he's not there yet, but he could definitely get there. And I think you are dead from the bleeding, sir. Yes, you are. Goodbye. Time for our team to recover. Nice. Total and total miss. I am a-okay on that. And his ball slows. Nice. 
Nice, thank you for resisting that movement again. It, goes, it takes quite a while to get back into order. And with that big guy gone, I don't believe it's, it's necessary to start focus healing because I don't think that he will take enough damage in order to uh, be a problem. And I can take this over for now. There we go. Look at that stress going away again. Awesome possum. And we're gonna get a big heal from him next round. Yep. So don't heal him. Which is fine, because we can stress you a little bit here. That's okay. I know exactly how I want to solve this. Attack. Heal the back line. Voila. Heal you. Near full health team, very low stress. Ooh, not a deadly bleed, but I have one more round to go. And there's a nice crit. Doesn't relieve the stress the way I would like this to see it. At least Another eight of those. Uh, first of all, can we just... Before I forget that again. And people are going to shout at me and say that I'm a horrible, horrible player. Um... Ah, you know what, let's end the episode. It's long enough as it is. Let me, for once, not be too freaking greedy, alright? Let me do that, and say, I thank you for watching. But you know what, let, let, let's watch this scene before I go too, too quick again with that. By the way, this trick it is horrible. I don't know why it would take it with you. Plus 3% crit if it has the Crimson Curse. Plus 100% healing when eating if it has Crimson Curse. 100% food consumed if it has Crimson Curse. What the hell is this for? Yes, 100% healing when eating, but 100% food consumed. Just no. That requires you to have so much food. This, however, is not too bad. Damage on crit and crit chance. And damage in position one if I must hide from the world. We do need the other one though. Look at that amount of crests. Very nice. Oh dear. Fear of Eldritch. That's really bad. I like uh, stout. I don't know what stout does, but... Uh, I mean, the last couple of dungeons, it's all about Eldritch, so fear of Eldritch? Uh, I don't like that. Ruins Adventure instead of Deadly, instead of the plus one crit chance. Well, didn't have that many crits. The virulent clouds from the courtyard have abated. The airs of the estate feel narrowly agreeable once again. And therefore, remove the Crimson Curse from all affected heroes. So, the contagion has abated due in no small part to the recent triumph over whatever aged old horror was lurking behind the sealed courtyard gate. Alrighty then, we didn't rescue anyone though. It's exhausted after extursion the, in the brothel? Bonnie, what the hell did you do? Is that a... Oh no, that's it's just temporary. Okay, phew. <laughs> I thought that was going to be forever. Um, But yeah, we've done it. Not a balls down. I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.